Ben. So this is the basic rundown that I didn't really include before. When we had the runaway motor coming into Exmouth, I thought it was the injectors and the fuel injection pump. So on these little Yanmars, that's the fuel injection pump, this thing under here, and you, you take those four bolts off, you gotta take all your hoses off, your fuel lines, and you take that fuel injection pump out, as well as the fuel lines, and then your injectors, and you send them away to go get refurbished, and they ideally send them back um, fully refurbished and ready to put back in. So I did that, and they cost me two and a half grand. I had a hole in my fuel tank at the back there, so I just, chop those lines I got my fuel bladder from the turtle pack and I just basically um, bypassed that and put an auxiliary fuel tank straight back in so that's my fuel return line and that's the fuel in but that didn't solve my problem so I was girls 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 so I was still having the problem with the runaway motor because we got to the Montes and I started getting blown into the reef a bit more than I would have liked turn the motor on to try and get more of a better angle into the wind and of course right when I needed it the motor failed again so now what I've learned I got this aftermarket and that was about $180 that one right there so apparently when they go they can let diesel straight into your sump so long story short is as long as my pistons aren't cracked uh, my piston rings aren't cracked or anything like that fuel comes in through the water separator into that fuel lifter pump and ideally not pushing diesel into my sump back through because what was happening diesel was getting into the oil sump which was causing the high pressure which was for forcing it out of the out of this out of the head and there's a breather hose that goes straight back into the air intake which normally is only meant for like a little bit of um, a little bit of excess which is what I've got in here because I didn't want to test the motor and have it run away again Normally that goes straight back in there and just gets burnt up, but if you've got diesel and oil and your level's too high, it just spouts it straight back into there, straight into back into your engine, and it feeds off itself and it can't, that's why when you shut the fuel it can't stop because it's still pumping and pumping and pumping. That's my vague understanding of it anyway. It can't shut itself off and it can't regulate itself because it's still getting fed more and more fuel, completely uncontrolled. You know, so even if you cut the fuel, it's still getting force-fed everything out of the sump and it's running on oil and diesel. So the position I'm in now is it appears that the, the motor is working, but last time I motored for a day and didn't have an issue. So that's the rundown. Yep. test run to the fuel jetty we filled up yesterday did all the water if everything's all good with the motor we'll keep going and we've got about a day of motoring to really give this motor a test run before we hit the Kimberley but all things going well we are leaving damp here for the Kimberley <laughs> What's that, Tyler? We're sailing to the Kimberley. Is that right? Still doing two knots, so we're just gonna 
let the sun go down and cruise cruise along because I've come to the realisation that we're going to be spending a long time out here and I'm just going to take it easy and we'll just <laughs> gently make our way up to Broome. And if we time it well, we'll get there by the weekend. It's only Wednesday, so we'll just spend some time out in the water and just slowly make, <laughs> slowly make our way up. Sound good? Jesus. <laughs> Holy moly, I <Ida. laughs> um, we just passed um we just passed Point Samson. Oh sorry, um Walcott, Port Walcott. No, nah, I'm gonna go straight up into the Kimberley. just had the line go off even though it's thick as fog it doesn't matter underwater for the fish apparently I didn't do a great job of rigging up my line so I had to pull half of it in by hand but you know you win some you lose some we managed to get it in in one piece it got a good bite on it we have a beautiful bluefin tuna the problem that we have now is that I still can't see a goddamn thing and we're getting really close to headland which is the busiest port in Australia. And I've tried to radio VTS and they don't seem to want to answer. Um, someone else heard us, but for whatever reason they're not answering. I think we're gonna have to just try and maybe get a little close, a little shallower, and I may just have to sit here because if I go any further, I'm gonna get fucking run over. Really annoying that they're not answering and on top of that the girls are bored so they're just screaming they have like they're like playing but it's just them fighting 
I think I might, um, I think I might actually turn the motor off and just sit here. This is us waiting. I can hear the whales slapping. Can you guys shut? Come back whale sounds. Bust up. Huh? Oh. Yeah. Oh. We've been playing whale, humpback whale noises in the boat so it vibrates into the water. We've had all these whales singing back to us and there's like a little one. Sounds like a little one making squeaky noises. But then you can tell there's all the big male humpbacks around because it's, they sound like bullfrogs, like, whoa. We're just floating in the mist. I've heard, I heard over the radio, apparently it's clearing up a bit. But we're just bobbing around. I can't believe how much we heard. It sounded like they were right underneath the boat. Well, that's the end of day two. Wind's coming in now. I would be quite keen just to just to punch through and get as far as we can, because as long as we can get up around and over to that 80-mile um, beach side of things, then we should be um, in a really good position for the south easterlies that are coming through. And then we'll just shoot straight up the room. That's the plan, um, and I'm looking forward to the kids going to bed so I can have a, have a nap. Yeah, they have a lot of needs.